Okay, I think uh, that's enough of that, probably. How about stop the jazz and stuff? Um, anyone here yet? Am I just streaming for myself? Well, if so, it doesn't really matter. So I wanted to do another proper look at uh, Beatmap. Um, this time actually maybe fighting something, at least for a little bit. I'm kind of feeling, feeling sort of, uh, I don't know, playful, experimental. So I don't really know where the stream is going to go today. Um, but I wanted to start with that for sure. So um, let's just uh, maybe start the same way we did last. I'm kind of curious to get a mm, bit more use out of Reason again since I haven't done it for so long. So uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, and um, maybe watch this later on YouTube, um, Reason now is a plugin and it just recently got an update which uh, has a new device called Beatmap and also the ability to send MIDI out to other uh, channels and so on. So um, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and do something like that to come up with something basic. Just coming up with chords is like, I don't know, such a chore sometimes. I'm just gonna do it the more like experimental way today. If I can remember how to actually do that. Um, so let's route it over here. Take our media from this plugin. Monitor this and no. Um, gonna default it. We're gonna go with let's say A minor and some kind of open chords um, with it. So see if that actually works out. Yes. Okay, um, and I kind of feel like needs a different sound. Yay, hi Yuki, you can talk. That's great. <laughs> um, yeah, how does this new mic sound to you? I actually managed to have some like noise reduction and compression on it, just, just like a tiny bit, but hopefully it sounds better than last time. Okay, cool. How is it volume of eyes um, compared to like some keys? Um, play some things actually. Required piano, anyways. Oh, hey. Hello there. Oh, we have two people watching. It's probably a record for my stream. Yeah, so how is this uh, volume-wise? I guess my voice is a little louder than the piano. I can also speak quietly. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I can also just turn the voice down a little bit. You guys... Uh, let me know if I need to turn something down. But I think the other stuff will also be more um, more loud overall than this very, very quiet piano. Mm, so let's go for something like e piano -y. Mm. Wow. 
what shall it be today? Something vintage keys, maybe? Um, Yeah, that definitely has like a we're, we're again in lo-fi territory it's dangerous it's so easy to go there um let's see if we can slightly and ah uh, these e-piano sounds have such Appeal. So what if instead of the Mark One, we go for the A two hundred? Huh. I didn't want it. Off to. Even more, even more lo fi. Okay, trying the clavinet. Who knows? <laughs> okay no definitely not what i'm going for interesting though okay let's stick with the mark one and maybe go down Okay, let's just go let's just go with that. Um, um we wanna stay with A minor. We maybe not want to stay with A minor. What do you guys think? Should we stay with A minor? Should we do this sort of mellow sounding kind of thing? I'm also trying to learn how to talk to the chat since I'm new with the I feel like this could use some some low end octave thing. Let's let's do that. Oh yeah. You can't judge. Well, um, I don't know. Go with. Do you like this? <laughs> Yeah, it does obviously suggest funk. That's true. Um, funk is nice. 
Okay, let's go. Cool. And let's add some color for that extra funkiness. Maybe take the upper octave out. chords. Mm -hmm. Maybe A minor is not the right key for four chords. How about how about modal? How about we go mix with to close. I don't know what to do today. Take the color out. Let's go. Maybe we'll just go main minor, and maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go. Okay. Let's try that. Let's uh, pick a tempo. How about how about how about five because that's fast. something like that. Oh, hey, Ableton has this new capture feature that I've barely ever used. Can I just actually capture what I just played? That's so sweet. That actually works, I guess. Really what I just... Ah, that's, that's so useful. Oh yeah, Felix, uh, the original idea for the session today is um, checking out something that came out, which is Beatmap, and then just kind of like hanging out, writing a small track, maybe writing another track, kind of seeing where it goes. But mostly the first thing is that Reason is now um, a plugin and has this ability to send MIDI in and out, and I kind of wanted to check out what it's like working with that since I started with Reason originally and you, I know you know Reason. So um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to connect back to it and see what it's like. Okay, so we're gonna do the thing that we did last time. I'm gonna move this forward. And uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We're going to go for a beat now. 
that's the idea. Um, let's just record this media information in so we can like use the instance of reason for something else. take this off from here and back to where it goes should have a neat good now let's drag the last one out it so that does oh okay so beatwise um or should inside reason or go out mm. like for the moment maybe like just stay in it um too lazy to look for a proper drum plugin right now okay so we obviously don't need this anymore at least not for the moment and let's check out this. So this this is Beatmap. This is the new thing. Um, and I guess we can go. We can go with sort of what we did last time and put like. Um, let's put like a on it. I guess we have to go the other way around. So Kong first then heat map on it and uh, the way that this works is this map actually kind of um, selects what kind of patterns go in all the different places so let's check this out um, Maybe maybe we just stay with the classic Kong kit for now. I I don't feel like browsing it. So um, start with just uh, finding a snare and kick pattern that that works. Should loop that again. Sorry about that. Okay, now we can decrease the density and make it a little less frequent. Finding beats this way is definitely different.
Okay, okay, that's uh, something at least. Oh, but that then there's this empty spot. Okay, maybe let's uh, bring up the density a little bit. Or actually, maybe we can fill that out later. Bring in some hats. to change that. Okay, so what, that's uh, sharp. Okay. Okay, hold on, we need to remap these sounds. That's unbearable otherwise. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, yeah, let's go with, uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Probably. Um. No, oh, no, it's C. Okay. So let's go with C here. I believe we can actually like pull off that as the main kick. So that's like put that to E. That works. What do you guys think? Maybe let's go for the other, for the other, for this snare. Alternatives where the original was, and maybe can maybe we can fill out read a little. That's awesome. One more follower, we grow one bit at a time. Okay, so let's see about that hat. That could like have a little more density on the mirroring. on this perk. Uh, what's on G? Oh, I see. Yeah, let's put something else there. Actually put this super annoying synth pum there. <laughs> such, a, such a weird sound. Oh, hey, thanks, Felix. Hey, more followers. I can see why this is uh, addicting. 
Also, I keep looking at my recording screen instead of looking into the camera. I'm sorry, guys. This is a learning curve and stuff. <coughs> so, uh, let's see if we can actually use this weird little tom in some nice way. Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I can actually tolerate that. But this in itself, I think is, this works as like a basic beat. So it's maybe like sculpt the sound a tiny bit. just levels a little bit here. I think that beat is a little bit too loud. I don't know, maybe it's actually the roads, uh, the e piano, it's a little too loud. No. Ah, we're having a space issue here. Okay, let's put our roads a little bit to the right for now. Let me know if I'm clipping, guys, so I can turn the overall volume down. Okay, let's actually bring this very nice Rhodes into a room. Tiny inconsistency in our chords here, don't we? Do I dare quantize? I guess I do. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, oh no. Ah. messes up the rhythm. We don't want that. Uh, 
Okay, but this one, one we do want to be sure. Possibly this one too, right? Like a little. Kind of like it that way. I guess we do need some <laughs> a trumpet, <laughs> trumpet with some echo. Uh, yeah, sure. But I, I I figured we might need some bass. Just saying. I mean that kick provides some low end, but still. I think some bass would be. want the trumpet first. It could do a trumpet.
you love both bass and trumpets, then we're good. We're just gonna do both, okay? So um, let me just have a quick look here because what what key am I in? back to the good old like a more like melodic bass line might be good here I'm not sure I can't, I can't make bass lines right now. Let's do, let's do the trumpet. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I can't make, something's not, something's not right. <laughs> also there, it seems like maybe there is already just too much bass in, I'm just not hearing the bass. I 
guess we could try maybe like having the base just be like another lower octave. What do you think about that? Okay, maybe it's a little much with the delay. Let's just try that out for fun's sake. Ah, oh, what am I? Where'd my G go? And now let's bring this maybe like up a little bit. Wow, okay, that's some mighty bass. Maybe you make those a little shorter. What if we make them all short? Then space. Mm. Yeah, but also. Although actually, the sound kind of reminds me of like, like some of the Moog basses. We drive it a little more, it's like even more growly like synth. Okay, but it doesn't really like it doesn't really fit this mood. Uh I don't know, what do I want? What do I want? What do you guys want? You think this is fine? Should I just leave it at that? Not so entry. I mean, there's plenty of bass. that trumpet though what has trumpet in it like a solo trumpet i guess that should there should be some in here it's uh Let's try it. Destructive brass. No, not really what we're going for. Want something solo brass. I'm not good with like picking from these kinds of selection menus. Let's let's see let's see what we let's see what we get. What's uh, dream for us? Okay, well that's not exactly a trumpet. Holy Oh yeah, okay, great. Ah, there we 
we go. Um, let's see, what can we do with this? I like that not so bad um, I'd like to give that actually a little more reverb which we don't seem to be able to do not here I uh, haven't really looked into this very long so let's see what's going on here. where is the reverb there Ah, there we go. that tone back in. record some of this stuff a little bit um so first of all how about we like capture let's see So not really getting me. So let's see if that works. What's what's going on? I guess I can't set this to get MIDI from itself. Well, sure. Okay, then we'll just make. 
we will make it. Well, I guess we could also just capture it in audio, but yeah, no. Get the notes out. Also. Okay. Here we go. Of course it doesn't because we're having no MIDI out. Ah, isn't that great? Stuff like that doesn't interrupt the workflow at all. Um, gotten so quiet. How? How? Like. Talk to me, do do something while I have to figure this out. How's it going over there? Are you having fun watching this? Am I like doing okay for my second stream of all time? What do you guys think? Also, does anyone know where this like um Anyone know where this uh, input output thing is? Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out somehow. Um, well, I'll do something. I'll just look how it's wired and then right now. And okay, so it's not wired at all. Great. So can we just drag that over? Like this no I still just record the media out now maybe this work doesn't oh great okay whatever i don't i don't want to be stuck with this let's just move forward um we've got our beat here um what i'll do is i'll i'll actually quickly capture it in audio but then i'll keep it like just uh you know just in case um On that for it. Make it like eight bars. Oh well traveling home. Okay, great. Then uh I hope I'm a, like uh Decent entertainment on the way home, actually. <laughs> I've never really tried streaming like from my phone via mobile data. I'm kind of uh, surprised that works, but I guess it does. Ah, no, no, back, I do. 
What the hell? No, go away, overlay. Ah. Ah. Ah, there we go. Ah. Ooh. Thank God for undo and redo. Okay, but we're going to turn that track off because we're going to let that run on reason. Um, what the hell was I actually playing? What what was I playing on the <laughs> on the trumpet? Let me find that again. Was that, was that was that right? Was I? I guess we could go uh, like slightly syncopated maybe, what, what's that like? Sort of, uh, I mean, I have a thing for dotted notes, but What if we, 
has actually brought this further down. I guess that's a little too low. Oh, oh, I see. So you, you, uh, you're talking about changing the patterns, right? Isn't this two, 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 three? Oh, two, two, three. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's. Uh, do you mean two, two, three for this side of the sound or for the other sound? So, like, what? What do you guys mean? What? What should I bring down? <laughs> No, no, <laughs> you're, no, you're not confused. Uh, I'm, I'm saying the trumpet has like it has two layers. Right? So there's actually two arpeggiators playing here. One is like playing threes, and one's playing doubles. And uh, so if you, if I play this solo, you can hear it. Um, there's two sounds going on at the same time. Right. So it's like one is this sound here. So, well, actually, rather, this is the short uh, trumpet once, right? And then this one is this uh, subdued, whatever, oboe or whatever it is. Right? And so this is like already making a syncopated rhythm. So the primary sound. What? No, I can do that. I think like a two-two-three pattern. Like, wouldn't that just be like basically like this? Three. Like this. Not in terms of rhythm. Oh, oh, um, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me just reverse this, uh, the rhythm alterations I did in threes. Yeah, I think I can do that in this, um, in this arpeggiator. I think they've built. Um, what was it? right? So um, we're here in down. Warp. You want like a? No, I don't. Oh, I see. I'm not sure if I can give it like a custom. Like a hold on. This is. Well, this is not quite what you meant, right? Like. I guess you can make it random, but that doesn't quite. Um, oh, but look, I well, no, I played is still like. What's chord? What? No, hi, I like rabbit holes. Lead me in all the rabbit holes, it's fine. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, no, that's also no. What about, but what if you end sort of big side? No, 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 no. I think we're we're gonna go. Bringing this bag. Where where are we? Feel 
like now I messed I messed up the arpeggio somehow. I did something that's not how it was before. Right, because this was actually doing doubles, wasn't it? it lower huh oh, oh god what am i doing what am i doing ah, finicky stuff okay 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 so let's try the lower again why not let's not do like here I don't dig that. No, this is not. This is not. I don't. I don't like. It. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we extend the chord downwards a little bit. That changes the rhythm again. Well, let's try that. Like, I mean, all forward with anything that you think. Um, I'm all for, like, ideas and shit. Uh, I can't promise I'm going to actually do what, <laughs> what you say. Um, I feel like this is a little too much in the foreground now, though. So I'm kind of like, make it more, you make it more wet. I guess I haven't actually really adjusted the, there's no reverb on the prompt. Wow, I cannot talk today. The prompet. Let's do something with the prompet, shall we? the trumpet moves in the background a little bit.
okay so that that that's quite nice let's um let's just put that down shall we so that uh so that we don't forget it prone to that oh god oh god i'm so sorry ah uh, oh god <laughs> That was my camera. Are you still there? Are you guys okay? Did anybody hurt anything? <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess we're I guess we're back. <laughs> I hope this holds now. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> um <laughs> Um so maybe let's uh let's try that again. Okay, I'm glad to hear you're going to be fine. <laughs> um, oh god, now I forgot. What am I playing? What is this? Right, here, that's, that's what it was. Let's try that one more time. What am I what am I doing? I can't play today. Okay, now now, now for real. Okay, so there, there, there we go. There we go. That's quite decent, maybe, hopefully. Let's look at this. Oh, we might actually not even need to quantize. I don't know. Maybe we always need to quantize, don't we? Don't we? Let's listen to it. See if we feel quantization. Maybe. Oh god, that was way too much. I don't feel like that's right. Maybe you just quantize the first one since that kind of sets the arpeggiator in in place. How about we save this? Do we save this? Maybe we should. Um, okay. Um, oh god, now I have to like... Uh, 
Um, how should we? How should we like call this uh, small little beast? What what should we call it? What what do you guys think? What is this called? I'll play it for you. Oh, I can't actually play it. Do you have any ideas for names? Slight hat damage. So I feel like the um, trumpet guy has like a nice sort of swingy wonkiness to it, but also sometimes feels a little bit too off. And um, I'm almost like, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Like it needs some sort of movement, I think, for, for it to not get like too weird. I mean, we're just crafting a loop right now, but. Working title. I said the working title is slight head damage. Just because that was the last line I read in the chat. <laughs> I think we can go with that. Um, so yeah, let's maybe see if we can like, maybe we can automate a couple of things here. Oh God, no, what, what? I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was the weird preview. I should turn that off. That's, there we go. So maybe we actually bring this little synthy sound pluck thing out a little more. See how that sounds like over time. <laughs> Right, that's, I think that's kind of nice. Um, ah, now, now we are at the point where I always, always start struggling. Oh no, oh no, what's happening? Ah, oh, I hate when that happens because I have my taskbar on the top. Now everything is, uh, is blocked. Um, so yeah, do, do you have an idea of how I can get this automation to show what I want it to show? Well, actually, right now it's not showing any automation for whatever reason. This is a weird new Ableton 10 feature. Like normally it would show the automation here, wouldn't it? I guess it's in the view feature somewhere. Oh yeah, here, A, automation, there we go. So can I just like sort of auto select this synth parameter within the instrument? I want this game knob. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, that's so nice that that works now. It didn't always used to be like this. So should we like, how, how far should we go with 
like this maybe and then bring it back down try that <laughs> I don't think it's working guys. I don't know why though. Why is it not working? Clearly, we clearly have the right parameter here. Okay, any any of the like Ableton Pros explain to me why this is not working. I bet you I can like work it in if I record it into the clip. like that I have to do it on a like on that level fine 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 Oh crap. Did we get that recorded? Okay, that's frustrating. I uh, will figure that out off stream at some point. But let's see, maybe we can do something else that's nice. Okay, that's really lo-fi. Let's move away from this for a bit, shall we?
say let's move away and then I keep fiddling it so like I'm sorry guys um let's see what else we can do to this um I'm actually kind of thinking well, we could use an exhale since we're already using some of the output stuff but I kind of want to like use one of my favorite things uh which is arcade see if we can sort of maybe get some kind of vocal choppy things on there or something something bring it a little more out Let's see what we have around. Uh, oh, this might be really loud, so I'm going to put the preview down. Wow, okay, that's uh, intense. Okay. actually think this can maybe work uh let's let's see if we can transpose it um sounds like um okay let's Sorry, that's uh, really loud. Thank you. 
<laughs> Playing with voice samples is so funky, like... <laughs> weird it kind of works but it's also really weird it's so weird to play shit like this because <laughs> i just have to laugh every time i hear i like i have to get like a talk box or a vocoder at some point and try doing something like this live
guy is slightly getting into the zone here. I just love jamming with this kind of uh, loop playing device. <laughs> um, oh, the connection keeps breaking up. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That sucks. But uh, you know what? It's actually fine. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, this was super fun. Um, I think I might like end up working on this track a little more later on off stream and make a little bit of like a small sketch or something out of it. Maybe I'll stream again tomorrow in the next couple of days and we can like keep working on this or maybe I'll finish on my own. I'll kind of see sort of what it feels like. But uh, yeah, thanks to all of you guys for hanging out and for watching. Uh, thanks to the two new subscribers. That's really cool. And um, yeah, I think this is going to become a thing. I'm having a lot of fun so far and I hope you're kind of enjoying uh, watching me doing this weird shit and I'm just going to keep trying out stuff because I have so much like tools and uh, plugins and shit that I don't use enough. So uh, it's a lot more fun kind of doing this with you and then maybe you can also ask questions about it or just kind of like help me out with suggestions when I'm stuck or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm rambling. Uh, time for me to stop. Thank you so much. I'll probably put this online also on YouTube if you want to like watch it again or something. And I'll see you next time.